Hey, we're Flick and Joe, and this is our dog, Walter. In 2022, we made the crazy decision to quit our full-time jobs, pack up our lives, and move aboard our Blue Water sailing boat. We spent many months refitting her and getting her ready for our plans until one day we actually did it. We cast off the lines, we pointed her south, and off we went. We've now sailed over a thousand nautical miles, dodging orcas, yes, actually, and most of the rocks along the way. Join us for the beautiful, quite stressful but endlessly eventful life that is full-time living aboard. In this week's episode, we sail from Gibraltar to Estepona and Walter has a fight with a cricket. G'day mate! <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Sailing Nondes. We made it from Gibraltar to Australia! What is our friend doing? I'm under sunshine, I'm not coming in the sunshine, but yeah. I keep trying to move it, I know. Bye, Gibraltar from Walter. <laughs> I think that might be our friends, you know, the Elan Compression 40. Oh, really? This was it. We were finally leaving Gibraltar. We had been there for over two weeks since leaving Morocco and we were itching to get on the move. We were finally entering the Mediterranean. Today was a 26 mile sail from Gibraltar to Estepona. As we rounded the southernmost tip of Gibraltar, we were met with some confused seas, mainly due to the strong currents ripping through the strait, acting against the wind direction. It meant an uncomfortable hour or so with very slow progress and some motor sailing to get through it quicker. But not without some autopilot user error where we tacked then carried on turning 180 degrees and headed straight for our friends sailing Saffron. We're ready to tag. Okay. Oh, there going. Yeah. That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> the autopilot just did a 180. Oh! <laughs> Eventually, we rounded the corner, the seas reverted to flat calm, and the wind disappeared. Welcome to the Mediterranean. Yeah, we're, we're officially in the Mediterranean now, or the Alboran Sea. So that's really exciting. And it's such a nice passage or weather today. There's, there's basically no wind. There's like six knots. It was, it was blowing a bit more earlier, but it sort of died off now. Six knots, so we're sort of motor sailing just to make sure that we get there, you know, before like, midnight. It's supposed to keep dropping off all day this wind so we want to crack on. Today we're going from Gibraltar to a place called Estepona. Now Estepona is on the south Spanish coast and it's supposed to be a very pretty little town so excited. We're gonna go sit at anchor there for a day or two 
and then we're gonna do a 24 hour passage from Estepona um, to almost Cartagena, which is like, yeah, 150 miles away. And yeah, really cool. It's just really nice being in the med so far. There's no swell. There's like literally, there's, I don't know, you can see, see on the camera, but you've got a little bit, that's a very little swell, like 20, 30 centimeters. That's what the forecast said, which is so funny. It's so different to being on the Atlantic coast when it was like two or three meters. Um, yeah, totally different ball game, but sunny and yeah, just a beautiful day just really appreciate and enjoying being sailing again, like being on the move. Oh, you're on your phone, are you? Enjoying the beautiful sunshine. You're having a little nag, are you? Sorry, what? Are you, are you nagging? Are you nagging me? <laughs> Yeah, but not for ages. Go and sit up there, it's so quiet. It's really cold. No, it's really nice. It's so, it's so quiet up there compared to the engine, it's really peaceful. Hey! <laughs> How do I get this thing to stay on? Stay off. I know. Snack. A little snack on the bow. Well, that's sad. Some litter. Not many miles out we are. Plastic water bottle. What a clever boy!
we are about six miles away from our anchorage for the evening. It's been a very, very chilled passage. So nice. We had um, lunch up here on the bow earlier, which was really nice. Some little um, chicken and cheese croquettes. And yeah, it's just lovely. Sun's out. We've got basically no wind now. We had two knots of wind, so we're just motoring along. But all is good. All is good in life. It's nice to be moving. And we're surrounded by this beautiful countryside. And I think Walt is enjoying being on passage again. He's just loving, just looking over the edge and seeing, uh, like, spotting bits of, bits of fish or, um, bits of fish? Whole fish. Or bits of rubbish that are, like, floating along because, yeah, there is quite a lot of rubbish you've seen today. Just bits of plastic and, like, empty bottles and things. I don't know if it's, like, the little band of current that we're in is just picking it all up and carrying it. But, yeah. Other than that, it's been just glorious. So nice. And I've got this new hat which we found in a cupboard somewhere, which I'm really enjoying wearing. It's a proper like, it goes all the way around, surround hat. It's uh, a hat that I think my brother Elliot gave to Flick. It's uh, Team GBR sailing. So if you don't know, my brother is um, an Olympic sailor. He sails the laser class, which is a small single-handed dinghy. And yeah, he's number one laser sailor in the UK. He went to Tokyo 2022, was it? The one that was meant to be in 2020. It was in 2022, I think. And fingers crossed, he gets picked for Paris 2024 as well, which would be really cool. And maybe we'll get to go see him out there. I don't think we'll take the boat, but we might fly over, who knows. So at the moment, we've left Gibraltar finally, and we're headed to, the ultimate aim here is to get to the Blairick Islands. Because if we can get to the Blairicks, specifically Palmer, for the first week of April, Elliot is there doing a big racing sailing event. So hopefully we'll get to catch up with him and we'll get to see him in Parma. And that'd be, that'd be lovely, because I think Dad and his partner are looking at also flying out. And so it might take Dad on the boat because he's not even, he's not actually been on the boat yet. And we could take him out on the boat and go and um, watch Elliot race basically. We could sit right on the edge of the racing course and watch him sail on by, which would be really cool. And I think Dad would really like that. centimeters 30 centimeters seas every six seconds instead of two to three meter seas so lovely do you reckon you can climb up that hill tomorrow no overnight on the hill though.
Mediterranean with um, basically no wind. It's all kind of fine, even when we were in the, the, the splashy bit out coming out of Gibraltar where the current kind of went a bit mental. It's kind of okay. We did a lot of tacking, which, which we haven't actually had to do very much because we haven't been sailing upwind. Our autopilot was playing silly buggers, Joe thinks. Joe actually has admitted that it was probably human error. No, we got no, sailing saffron and was human error. Our, our autopilot ha was being a bit weird and then we were trying to test it out by sailing by wind angle but the wind around the straits was shifting loads so suddenly we'd be pointing in a different direction and the sails would be moving. Like, oh no, okay. So um, yeah, did a lot of tacking. We tried to um, tack, our first tack I think it was, or maybe the second one, and we were just ahead of sailing Saffron and we tacked but we ended up doing like a three, no, like a 180 and coming straight back past them, but very close. They were very calm about it. But yeah, overall really good first sail. I mean, I feel like if conditions were like this, but with a tiny bit more br more wind, then that would be lovely. And we could carry on like that forever. It'd be great. Obviously the sun will go down at some point. But we should have quite short nights soon as well. If it's summer, so we get more daylight. Should be cool. Have you had fun? Have I? Oh, it's been amazing. It's been so nice to be sailing here. Yes. Just really smiley. Aww. Look at that view, Wall. That's pretty cool, huh? What are you looking at, eh? Ah, the fishing boy. You're a good lad. You're keeping an eye out for fishing boys for us. There's definitely a little bit of swell coming into this old anchorage at the moment. Fingers crossed. It's just this little bit. We spent the next few days exploring the old town of Estepona. It's a maze of white streets decked with colourful pots filled with equally colourful flowers. What is this song? Gentle, gentle. We were waiting here for our weather window for a 240 nautical mile passage along the Spanish coast. Our first overnight passage as just us. <laughs> Gentle. Come on, Yeah, go on. Go on, go see mummy. You have to grab them. <clears throat> Good lad. <laughs> did you want to go back or did you want to go to his mum? No, no, you'll go with Flesh. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
having so much fun now. Don't fly. You can't be that hard to fly. No, you just have to make sure I don't drop it in the sea. In the sea. Oh. <laughs> Amy is such a bad one.